Hi you guys. Okay, so welcome to another vlog. So your girl did a little bit of shopping. I don't know if you guys can hear my fan. I apologize if you can, but it's hot. So, but your girl did a little bit of shopping and I got some packages delivered today. It is after the holiday and so, you know, we got some deliveries that came. So, figured I'd just open them with you guys and see what we got, okay? So this first one is this cute little pink package from Moira. And I believe I remember what I got from Moira. It was just one thing that, listen, I was watching somebody else's declutter video and saw something that they had that I wanted. <laughs> Ain't that funny? They getting rid of it and I wanna buy it. So anyway. This was one of those things. I was like, I've never seen that. What is that? But you guys will be shocked to know it's not a palette. But this is the only item I'm sure in this haul that's not a palette. So, let's see if I can get you all this. Ooh, oh yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, I bought it to use as a highlighter. Um, it is a Sun Glow Face and Body Bronzer, of course. Um, a lot of times, glowy bronzers I like to use for highlighters because, you know, they go well on my deep, dark skin tone. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to get the glare, you know, from the light. Look how pretty. Am I gonna swatch this for you guys? And it definitely looks like a bronzer, you know? Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I don't even know how this is going to act because I don't think she swatched it. I think she just showed it and I went crazy because <laughs> it was so pretty. So, we look like we got a winner, y'all. Y'all have to excuse my nails and my hands, honey. Ain't nobody been to the nail shop. Oh, child. Now, I already have a couple of big giant, like highlighty bronzers, um, but it's something about these type of bronzers that I just love because they just add that little, just that little sun-kissed glow to your cheeks and it's not like anything super harsh or crazy. Look at that. Child, what? what oh i mean i have a, a little bit of a natural glow right now anyway but y'all see it don't act like you don't y'all see it this mug is so pretty ah, i'm so glad i grabbed it anyway i got this from moira it is this <laughs> dang y'all can't even see it it's too holographic hold on hold on it's the Moira Sun Glow Face and Body Bronzer in 003 Summer Soul. That's the color I got, Summer Soul. So if you want the same color. And I just love the design, the star is so pretty. So that's the purchase that I'm very glad that I got. And I'm very glad that it came in one piece because you know, sometimes you order something like that and the male people just throw it all over the place no baby she came in one piece okay so this is from lunar beauty um i guess they came out with a couple of palettes that i wasn't aware of um when i wasn't you know into my my makeup thing when i was taking my little hiatus when i tell you i wasn't looking at makeup i wasn't shopping for makeup i wasn't doing nothing you know that had anything to do with makeup when I was on my hiatus so so many like launches and palettes and stuff like that went by that I didn't even know about and so you know that's why I, it's not good for me to watch collection videos or declutter videos because I'm just like you guys I get easily influenced sometimes and child next thing i know i'm searching for a palette <laughs> that came out six months ago because it's my first time seeing it and i want it in my collection so anyway that's how these came about so i bought two palettes from luna 
Lunar Beauty. Okay. And I guess it's, I don't know if it's their two latest palettes because I know he came out with one with Laura Lee or something like that. But I got these two. I got the Moon Shroom. Is that what it's called? The Moon Shroom palette. And I got the Silent Siren Sunset. So these are the two latest palettes that I know about. And child, the packaging. Look at the packaging. That's pretty. I love how he does that moon you know, in all of the packages or on all of the packaging. Love the consistency and I love the design. Oof. This mug is prettier in person than it was online. And even me looking at it on the camera is not doing it justice. Yo. This mug is gorgeous. It is pretty. Let me see if I turn the light down a little bit, if that will help. I don't even know if I can. But look at how deep and rich these colors are. And the shimmers. Come on, get out of the way. The shimmers, child? What? And I'm on the late boat, child. This mug, this is gorgeous. This is pretty. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't even know this existed, but I am loving these deep colors down here and then just the mustardy shades and the whole row of shimmers in the center. All those shimmers are so bomb. Anyway. I'm happy about that. If any of you guys have this palette, let me know. Um, you know how it performs. The reviews that I watched, because I do watch several re several reviews before I purchase palettes. Um, the reviews that I watched said it was very very good, but they also, I think, were, you know people that just love <laughs> Lunar Beauty. But this this is the packaging for this one. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, this one is really pretty. This is tight. I like that. That is very, very neat. I made the right choice with these palettes. Like, for show, for show. For show, you're right. <laughs> Look. This, this bottom row, oh, delicious. The, this quad right here, delicious. Even over here, this beautiful pinky shade and these earth, you know, just warm neutral tones or cool neutral tones. Are they cool? Yeah, they're cool. Cool neutral tones, oh. But this whole bottom row is sick, sick. This was out there all this time and I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Let me turn the light back up and see if that, oops, that's not right. How about this? There we go. But child didn't even know. Yeah, it definitely helps when I turn the light down because you can see, you know, the true depth of the shadows. Gorgeous, oh my gosh. Child, who is over there coming up with Manny's uh, color schemes, okay? Because th these two are bomb. But, um, yeah, I don't even watch him. I don't follow him or anything like that. I mean, I know he's been caught up in drama and all that stuff. But you know what? I don't, I don't follow all that mess, so. It is what it is. I know he making he make a good palette. Okay, I know that much. Okay, and then this last box is from Adept. Adept Cosmetics. This is a big box. I did not order this much stuff from Adept. Look at this. Now I know I ordered two palettes from Adept. Okay. 
so I'm pretty sure they got these mugs wrapped up in some serious bubble wrap because they like, baby, we do not want you to receive our palettes damaged, okay? And I ain't mad at them. Look at this for one palette. And it's like pretty much guaranteed that you're not, when you get your order from a depth, it's not going to be messed up. I mean, I can't say that, but for this to be two palettes, <laughs> I feel like they do their, their job in trying to protect your, uh, your purchase. So I would definitely give them that. They have the best packaging when it comes to palettes, for sure. Okay, let me open these up. I still can't get over those Luna Beauty palettes. Them mugs are gorgeous. Okay. I keep saying I'm not going to buy no more Adept palettes because I feel like, you know, my collection of Adept palettes is, is sufficient. But then I see somebody else with one of their palettes and it's like, I got to have it. Okay, so this one I definitely wasn't going to get because it looked very familiar to a lot of their other palettes, honestly, in my opinion. But... Um, just watching some videos on people using it, I found that, you know, it was in fact actually different. They, it's a lot of protective, you know, protective plastic covering on here. That's, you know, but let me see if I could just show you the palette without having too much, you know, glare or whatever. So this is the palette, and this one is the Cyborg Choir. Ooh wee, child. Look at that. Look at those shimmers. I don't anticipate this doing too much for me, but with a white base it might. I'm really hoping that these work okay, but honestly, I really be more focused on the shimmers when it comes to a depth because I mean, I can grab another palette for some mattes if I want to throw a matte in my crease, but I'm hoping that these do okay. But ciao, these shimmers, ugh, gorgeous. So this is the Cyborg Choir, gorgeous. And then this one I really wasn't gonna get because I'm really not like a red eyeshadow type chick, you know, and, but then when I took a closer look, it was like, you know, the packaging is kind of like pinky, like sunset kind of vibe, you know, pinky, purple. It kind of has like an ombre thing going on. Really, really pretty, but I don't know why Maybe because this one shade in the bottom corner was just kind of making me feel like this was going to be a red leaning palette and this shimmer here. But the fact of the matter is me looking at the shimmer from this angle, it looks like a like a pinky yellowy orangey. And as I turn it, it shifts to like a green. Child. So anyway, <laughs> this is what it looks like head on. For you guys and I wonder is there a way for me to even show some of the shifts to you guys I don't know sometimes you can with the mirror but it's difficult but let me see see the palette looks very green and orange um but I don't know can you see I can see shifts um you know, especially like these two right here, that's like, look gold and green. If you look in the mirror, you see how it turns like red and kind of like a pinky shade. It's insane. Look at that. Yeah, you can definitely see the shifts in the mirror, but um, anywho, 
this palette was just one that I was like, you know what? I want to get my hands on it. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. And I also want to just kind of like combine playing around with some of these palettes together. Like just taking all my depth palettes and just kind of pulling different shadows from different ones and just being real creative because their shimmers are just insane. Completely insane. So yeah, anyways, yeah, that's what she looks like. Really, really pretty. So that is it. I actually ordered a purse from guests because you know everybody was having a little holiday sales so i ordered a purse from guests and i'll show you guys that when i go in my closet i am this close to doing like a whole closet redo the things i'm really kind of wanting to do is i want to do an actual beauty room tour where i truly just go through and show you everything that's you know in my beauty room where it is like in the drawers the palettes all that stuff just more in depth but i know it's going to be a really long video and i also want to do a closet like just rework revamp because my closet is just driving me crazy right now and i'm not happy about it um i keep pushing the wrong button there we go yeah my, it's just driving me crazy and i'm not happy about it so anyway that's probably going to be coming up soon me going through and just decluttering a lot of stuff out of my closet and basically starting from scratch okay because <laughs> i'm just like i got all this stuff and i i don't wear it i don't wear it i'm seriously like a jeans shorts tank top t-shirt um you know i i dress it up i your girl can dress it up if i need to but it's like I have clothes that are for vacation, you know, stuff when I go on cruises, tropical islands and stuff. And then I have clothes, you know, hubby takes me out on a date or whatever that I like to have. Or, you know, living in Vegas, I need stuff to wear if I want to just sporadically go to a concert. I don't want to always have to go shopping. So I have a lot of different types of clothes in my closet, you know, bathing suits, cover-ups for vacation, for pool. <sighs> You know, I have jackets because it gets freezing cold. I have a lot of jackets and I have a lot of shorts. You know, it's just insane. But there's a lot of stuff that I really don't wear. You know, like certain things like I look at cargo pants that I have. I probably have about, I don't know, 10 pair of cargo pants. And it's like, yeah, they're cute and I like them, but they don't necessarily look good on me. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, there might be one pair that I keep or something and the rest need to go, you know, either to my daughter or go to Goodwill or something. So I really need to do a serious, you know, come to reality check with myself when it comes to my closet. Because just because I think something is really cute or just because, you know, something might, you know, be trendy or whatever, that doesn't mean I'm going to wear it because if I don't feel comfortable in it or it doesn't necessarily flatter me and my shape I'm not gonna wear it so it needs to leave my closet because I got too much stuff in there so anyways that is probably next on the agenda but I might have to split it up we'll see so anyway that's it I just want to open my little packages with y'all and I'll probably check with you guys tomorrow um, I need to get my nails done because it's a mess, actually missing one. But yeah, so child, it is like triple digits out here all week. Y'all want to know why it is and I'm not trying to be running being in the streets? 115, 113. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> so, but I do need to get my nails done because I don't need to be having my nails looking crazy on camera. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Well, another candle bites the dust. My pineapple lemonade is done. So I'll put this in the trash and start a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my gardenia lotus today. This smells amazing, got this from Target. And so, yeah, this is going to be the new scent. Then I'm burning, I already cut my wicks down so they're not too high. So let's go ahead and light her. There we go. All right. 
You guys, I'm in the middle of editing my uh, makeup roundup for the month. And I'm hungry, but since it's only about 10 o'clock, I don't want to eat anything too heavy. I already had my coffee for the morning. So I think I'm going to just have some naked green machine juice. I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. It tastes delicious and it has some good stuff in it. And I'm probably gonna have a banana. So I'm gonna shake this up and pour me a nice glass of it to have while I edit. And I'm gonna have a banana. I'm really, really trying to make better choices with <laughs> what I consume during the day because it can get crazy, you know? It's so easy to just grab some chips or grab some cookies and I'm trying not to do that. So I got me some green juice and I'm also going to grab a banana and have this as a snack until I have my lunch. And I'm probably gonna have a salad for lunch. Okay, you guys, so I'm in my closet. Um, I'm getting ready to get dressed, actually. I think I'm gonna get out and see if I can find me something that I like at Target. I have this package that I got that I wanna open with you guys. I believe this is a purse that I bought during the sale um, from Guess. So I want to open this up. I'm anxious to see what it looks like. And hubby left me some money. Y'all see, hubby left me a little bit of change, okay? That's why I'm trying to get out. Shoot, hubby left me a little spinning change today, okay? So, yeah, I might be getting out, going to uh, Target or something. Look for some makeup, some something. I don't know, honey, but... <laughs> <laughs> we got a little change today. So anyway, let me um get some scissors so I can open up this box. Okay, I'm going to try to open up this box without showing y'all too much of myself. Because when I say I look like I'm not leaving the house today. <laughs> I look like I'm not leaving the house today, tomorrow, the next day. I'm truly chilling. I got on me some little... A little overall romper thing, honey. Anyway. So let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Aww. Got a little thank you note. Thank you for your purchase from guests. I'm really curious to see how this purse looks in, you know, person because when I saw it online, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. But, you know, stuff doesn't always translate the same when you get it in your hand. I'm glad to see it's a decent size, but I have no idea what I'm going to wear this with. <laughs> no clue. But it's pretty, and it's like the little crystals are kind of like an ombre. They give off like an ombre effect. I don't know if you can see that, but let me move this stuff out the way. <clears throat> but yeah, it's really, really pretty. So this is the purse from Guess, and the sides are what looks like a light gold, like a mix between gold and silver, really. It's not like super goldy gold. That's interesting. I like. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So, give you like a little close up of the detailing. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to wear this with, but <laughs> it was so pretty. I was just like, I want it. And it it's super. Look how narrow this is. What am I going to put in here? A phone and a key? And a lip, a lip gloss, that's it. That's about all I can put in this mug. Um, but it was on sale. It says $138 on here. But honestly, I think I paid less than that for it. I really feel like I paid like $95 for this or something. But um, I really feel like... Look, look how narrow that is. It's very narrow. But... 
it's super cute. It's super cute. I definitely would throw throw my phone in here. It could definitely fit your phone. You know, it has slots for some credit cards on this side. So you can put some cards in there. Um, you know, a lip gloss or whatever, little compact mirror or something. It's really cute. I like it. I am feeling the guest purse. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to wear with this, y'all. Let me see um, if I have any shoes that I could match up with this. Hold on. I mean, I guess if I was, like, dressing it up or something, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. These are cute. Um, yeah, I don't know, child. Those are cute. These are some Steve Madden's. Um, you know, that are kind of like that bronzy gold. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, that would be cute, too. And then I have these Jessica Simpsons, you know, which these are really cute. I really like these. Um, but, you know, just comparing. See, this, it, it really does look like it has, like, that goldy silver thing going on. So, these actually probably will look cute with this, with some jeans and a cute top or whatever. But, yeah, I don't know, child. I just know I like this purse, and I'm glad I got it. <laughs> so, anyway, let me know what y'all think. I think it is really cute. I do. Not very practical, but very, very cute. So, you guys, I picked up some of these salads from the grocery store. This one is Taylor Farms Ranch. Um, I don't know. What is that? It has chicken and bacon. So, it's kind of like, I guess, a um, what are they called? Like a Cobb salad, but... I don't think it's any egg in here. I really don't need to have meat on my salad. <laughs> so whenever it's got like, has, like chicken or something on it, I really don't even want the meat because I don't need to have meat on my salad. But this is what I'm having today. So it has the little tray with the carrots and the cheese and the chicken and the bacon. It has the little dressing packing in there the ranch <laughs> a portable fork which I'm not going to use but I'm going to put it in my own bowl because that's just what I prefer to do while I'm at home I don't need it to be travel friendly so I'm just going to put that in there looks like it has a little bit of radish carrots and stuff in there so it's all good and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add this extra stuff. I'll add the carrots, the cheese, and the meat. You know, even though I really don't care about the meat. And these bacon bits. I don't really care about that either, to be honest with you. I truly can eat a salad <laughs> with just like lettuce and cheese and croutons on it, to be honest with you. All the extra stuff I really don't even need. Um, so, yeah. But I don't know mm, if I even want to use this ranch, really. I grabbed this out of the fridge, this cilantro lime crema. I really like this on my salad. I think I'm going to use this instead. Um, shake it up. I got this from Costco. I think they have like a, a double pack. The only thing I don't like is the hole is pretty big. <laughs> so it's like when you're putting it on, you got to kind of be careful because it's real easy to put too much of this on. So I'm just gently drizzling. Hoping that, you know, I don't put too, too much on Miss Salad. Okay. But. This looks pretty good. That looks like that'll do it. Not too, too much. I have some croutons. I'm not even a huge crouton person either. I kind of have to be in the mood for croutons, which, you know, 
I know a lot of people love croutons on their salad, so I might put a couple on here, but it's looking pretty good. I really don't. You know what? I ain't doing no croutons. I don't even need no croutons, but I'm gonna put this ranch in the refrigerator for another day, another salad, another time, <laughs> and uh, leave it at that. And I'm going to grab a water to have with my salad. Clean up my trash. So that's it. We're having this delicious salad with the lime crema dressing and we're having a water for lunch. And I'm being so good, I might give myself a tiny slice of cake for dessert. I bought this um, socket to me cake the other day. As you can see, there's a slice missing, but oh, this cake is so good. Cinnamony delicious and it's really good with coffee so i might treat myself to a little slither since i'm eating a sandwich <laughs> that's how we do it around these parts or i mean a salad since i'm eating a salad might go ahead and treat myself to a little slice so anyway you know balance always got to have balance okay so i'm up here back in my beauty room slash office slash editing area and i'm actually editing a shop my stash video for you guys so yeah it's coming up look for that <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna finish this up and then i think i got some more packages delivered i'm a hot mess if i do y'all can open them with me but yep that's what i'm doing right now having my lunch I almost finished my green drink. I finished my banana, but I almost finished my green drink, finishing my lunch, and I'm getting my editing done. Okay, you guys, so this is my outfit of the day, what I just threw on to run to Target. Y'all know it's 156 degrees outside, okay? <laughs> so, yes, your girl has on some shorts, dark denim shorts. This is one of my little flowy, airy, airy tube tops that I got from... Um, Shein and some sandals, which I have like, I don't know how many colors of these sandals I have. I have like black, white, blue, green, pink, orange, <laughs> you know. They're perfect to just throw on with different outfits. So anyways, feeling comfortable, feeling casual, feeling like I'm not about to burn up outside. But I do need to pick a fragrance and grab some sunglasses. And I'm probably just going to keep the same purse that I've been using because that purse is just a simple black purse and it goes with everything. So let's go pick some shades. Okay, so I'm over here where my shades are and I'm thinking these will probably work good. I just want something kind of cute and light. These are cute because these kind of have like a blue and pinky hue to them. So that will look cute with the top I have on. Yeah, these are cute too. This frame. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these. These are cute. So let's go with these. And for my scent today, I'm gonna go ahead with the Se Noir, Beyonce's fragrance, which is really, really nice. I love this bottle. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this today. So I'm just gonna prop y'all up right here for a second while I make myself smell oh this stuff smells good <laughs> i haven't used this in a minute and i forgot how good it smells baby <laughs> Ooh. okay that's good enough so the beyonce say noir and these are the shades that i picked Okay, yeah, they're cute. They're cute. Yeah, so we're gonna take these and let me check for my purse. So, right now, my stuff is just in this cute little purse. I'm pretty sure I got this from Target, child, because I like to throw it on, you know, as a crossbody. It wears easy. Y'all can't see. But yeah, see, it's just a little crossbody action. 
and it's cute easy i like purses like this when i'm shopping because i like to have my hands free so i can grab as much stuff as possible <laughs> but anyway yeah so we just gonna go with this that's good enough child that's good enough okay let's grab some water and hit the streets y'all see that temperature y'all see what that say 122 122 <laughs> y'all be wondering why your girl be in the house your girl be in the house child well, let me go to target and see what's popping okay I just wanted to show you um, the little itty bitty teeny weeny haul that I got from when I went to Target. Actually, it's really from Ulta because that's the only place I bought stuff from in the Target. You know, I've had the Ulta in the Target. All I did was buy makeup. So <laughs> um, I got this cute little ColourPop palette like I needed another ColourPop palette. Did not, but I didn't need any of this stuff. This was just really, really cute. So this is the Fresh Greens. And I thought that this color story was so pretty. I like green, but this was just really, really cute. So let me just show you guys. See how pretty that is? So, so cute. And those shimmers look really, really pretty. So anyway, got that. Um, I also grabbed the Sonia Kashuk Makeup Sponge Duo. They're two teardrop sponges. I've never tried these before. They look like something that I would actually like to use, you know, for my concealer under my eyes because of the shape. I feel like, you know, I'll be able to get under my eyes really good to blend in my concealer. So, yeah, I just wanted to try these out. I don't remember how much they were. Maybe like six bucks, ten bucks. I don't know. Not too much. Um, I also grabbed a mascara and I was just saying I do not need to buy any mascara. I have like 50 11 mascaras, but this caught my attention. It was a big old display on the corner. And so this is the Voluminous Panorama um, Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. I got the blackest black and it says corner to corner panoramic volume, <laughs> whatever that means, but... I mean, shoot, if this is how it looks, then yeah, it's worth trying. But this is what the applicator looks like right there. And it looks like it's the kind that I like, so we shall see. But I just said I wasn't buying no more mascara. And this just had me in the headlock, so I had to try it. I don't know why, but I was just really feeling lip glosses and stuff today. <laughs> Maybe I had dry lips when I was in there. I don't know. But I grabbed this from Black Radiance. It's called Beyond a Pout. Now, it says on here that it's an oil primer. What is an oil primer? I know what a lip oil is. I know what a lip gloss is. I know what an eyeshadow primer is. But what is an oil primer for your lips? Does this Is this supposed to give me, you know, fuller lips? Since it's called Beyond a Pout, I don't know. But I'm going to try this out. And hopefully it does not burn my lips off so I got that um and then I grabbed these two lip glosses from Revolution okay I thought they they just look so beautiful and delicious and juicy but they're called Juicy Pout <laughs> lip gloss it has cherry raspberry and jojoba oil and this one they're different ones I don't remember which one this one is this one is coconut I already know the clear one is coconut and this one grapefruit i think this is grapefruit anyway 
I thought they were really pretty. Wanted to try them and they look super juicy and delicious. So we're gonna try those. Oh, uh, also I grabbed this one from Morphe. It's called Drip Glass Drenched. Um, this one is wet peach, okay? So that's what the, the box looks like. But when I was looking at the testers, which I did not test it, but I just thought this color was pretty. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. This color looks really, really pretty to me. I don't know though, cause it says that it's highly pigmented. So, ooh, it is. And it is very, very thick and shiny. Okay, that's pretty though. Yeah, I could see myself wearing that with a pretty brown lip liner. Ooh, okay. Drip glass from Morphe. Yeah, I like the packaging and everything. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really pretty. Really pretty. So I got that. Um, This I thought was a lip gloss, but I did read it before I purchased it. So <laughs> I knew it was a blush. But when I first saw these in the store, I thought these were more of the... um lifter glosses from Maybelline because it's the same packaging. I'm like, why would you put the blush in the exact same packaging as the lip gloss? Okay, because I almost bought this thinking it was a new shade of lip gloss, but this is actually a blush, but the packaging is bomb. I love the packaging. It's called the Sun Kisser Blush, and I got the shade City Sizzle. <laughs> City Sizzle, okay. Um, I didn't try out the tester, honey. I just looked at it through the thing. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. That is definitely a blush shade that I love. I love that terracotta shade of blush. Ooh, that is pretty. And it looks like it has like a little bit of shimmer or something in there. I don't know. It does. Can you guys see? It looks like there's like a little bit of like shim shim in there. I don't know, but oh, I love that color. That's like one of my favorite colors of blush, that terracotta, just ugh, it's gorgeous. Anyway, so this is a blush. So if you go in the store and see these and you think, where are my lifter glosses? Because I actually have some lifter glosses that are in this same packaging, okay? This is the lifter gloss right here. This is the blush. So if you go in the store and you think that this is a lifter gloss, it's not. This is a blush. <laughs> so be careful when you pick this, you know, to purchase it. But, ooh, we, oh, I love that. Okay, so anyway, I'm glad that I saw these though because pretty cool. Haven't tried any blushes like this from Maybelline. I don't even know if I have any Maybelline blushes, but excited to try that. I think it's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, and it is really, oh, oh yes. I, I love that, I'm sorry, but I love it. That's gonna look gorgeous on my, my cheekbones, the apples of my cheeks, okay? That is gorgeous. And then lastly, I grabbed one of these new NYX Pro Fix Sticks. I just heard about these today. I saw somebody using them on the tube. And I was like, what is that? Because it's real tiny. Look how little and skinny and tiny this is. But it's a concealer. So they have different shades. I just grabbed this one, which is cinnamon, I believe. Yeah, this is cinnamon because I didn't know what shade to grab. I just wanted to grab one that would give me some brightening um, under my eyes. And, you know, we'll just see what happens. But, yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't want to, you know, swatch it because I'm probably going to use it in a video or something. But that's the color that I got. I don't know. It's pretty light, but we'll see. Um, I don't know. I'm just curious. Because it's a stick, concealer stick. So, anyways, that's new from NYX. That's it. That's everything I got from Target. <laughs> that's it. You guys, I'm making my hubby's famous fried cabbage. And it smells so good. 
I cannot wait until I finish with this. I'm making some baked chicken too. Like I think I'm going to like roast it or you know when you kind of turn the heat up and make the skin a little bit crunchy on the chicken. Um, roast it a little bit but I think it's called roasting. But yeah I'm making some baked chicken so I'm going to do finish that up along with this uh, fried cabbage. Let this cook down some more and it's going to be so good. So good. But anyways yeah that's what I'm doing for Monday night dinner. We're going to do try and do a little bit more of a keto situation. Cut back on the carbs so I'm not going to make any rice or potatoes or anything. We're just going to have the veggies and the meat and enjoy that for dinner. So yeah that's what's cooking today. So this is the baked chicken so far. Um, you know, I just seasoned it up and cooked it up till it was done, but I want to make my, um, you know, my, uh, I can't think my skin <laughs> a little bit more crispy. So I turned the oven on broil on high. So I'm going to put this back in there for about 10 minutes. Hopefully I don't burn it just to kind of crisp up the skin a little bit. Okay, you guys. So I just put it on broil for a good, I don't know just five minutes really and it really started to <laughs> to bubble up as you can see um you know you see it is bubbling up okay and i just want to make sure i didn't overcook it so anyways that is it for the baked and roasted chicken <laughs> looks good smells good and as you can see over here have my creole kick and my cabbage I got me a little fork right here. I'm looking crazy, so I'm not going to let y'all see me. But I'm about to taste this cabbage. Mm. As you can see, I cleaned that fork. Baby. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it tastes so good. <laughs> and I think it's about done. So I'm going to turn it off, let it sit. Then we good for dinner.